Hi there, thank you for joining me today, Stardew Valley Part 8. We're in winter now. Lots of cutscenes, lots of cutscenes. I thought winter was going to be calm and just a lot of sleeping. Not the case. I don't even think I made it through the first week. And something just kept happening, it was crazy. So I show you all of those cut scenes. I'm glad for this one. I know tea isn't a great item. I just like having it. I know that sounds weird. And I like this cutscene. I think it's pretty. I chose a different answer this time. Normally I always say, oh, it's beautiful. And then the you get a different outcome here. But I like this. I don't mind Caroline at all. I'm not a big fan of tea, but whatever. <laughs> okay, real quick. Yeah, so we are still in fall. This is the last day, because this is the last uh, event of fall, the Halloween thing. So again, I talk to everybody, I get the golden pumpkin, and then I go home. Oh, and I get another scarecrow, rare crow. They are chopping down trees in the neighborhood. The truck is right in front of our house. They even have their caution sign on our lawn. That's how close they are. They're getting rid of branches off of the utilities. So if they start up, there's nothing I can do about it. The neighbors are outside yelling at each other again. And I do have my fan going in the background. I have my window open a crack. I'm sorry. It's going to be another one of them sultry days. But I think my videos, I mean, unless you're wearing headphones and because you've worn them so long, you're already going deaf at the age of 25, so you've got it turned up to 80. I don't think you really hear too much of my background noise. So I'm going to try not to concentrate on that anymore and worry about it too much, which I always do. But those are the issues going on at the moment. I just want to make you aware of them in case you do hear any of it going on in my videos. I am sorry, but nothing I can really do about it. Do you know when I first started playing this game, I could not figure this out. <laughs> I even went online and they told you how to do it. But when I got to that point, I'm like, I can't get through this bush. I can't get through here. How do you... I just couldn't do it. Oh, speaking of that, I mentioned in the last video that panning for ores never worked for me either. And then the first time I did it in this game, it worked. <laughs> I got some iron or something. I don't know. Maybe if I stop thinking, yeah, I could never get through this part. It's like, you're telling me to go there and I can't. I was just standing in the wrong spot, as usual. <laughs> Whatever. Silly. It's a cute seeing Linus and Resmodius up there. <laughs> I like Linus. I'm finally becoming really good friends with him. I kept giving him... I don't know if my game is goofing up or not, but I have given Linus... Linus and Sandy the most gifts. And nothing is happening. Linus is actually repeating himself in some instances. And it's like, well, aren't we past this yet? Didn't you already say? <laughs> I don't know. I'm confused. So that's what I made on the last day of fall. Yay! But I just wanted to show you that we're transitioning here from fall to winter now. And it doesn't slow down. <laughs> it's crazy. It's obviously been a while since I played this game. And I wish I knew... When was the last time I played? Oh, it has to have been close to a year. Yeah, so I didn't expect this, so I'm sorry it's cut off a bit, but i pretty sure that's... It's a shadow guy, but I'm pretty sure that's Krobus. <laughs> so I finally have this magnifying glass to be able to read the secret notes. That's not working either. It's really weird. I already have three secret notes, and one of them was to... Well, 
that's true. I don't have my pickaxe. Because I'm starting to get my gold tools. And the first one I gave... The first one I gave to Clint was my pickaxe. So maybe that's the reason why. But I went... One of the notes was the one behind the Joja Mart where you walk up to the end and there's a little spot in the corner and you pickaxe it and something pops out. Yeah, I didn't have my pickaxe. So, okay. Yes. Yes. First day on the beach and I get a Nautilus. So my friendship. That's done. Also, shocker here. With the fish tank. I don't think I showed it. Do you... <laughs> In the last video, I said you could only catch a walleye in winter, and that's not true. It says fall in winter on rainy, rainy days. So that's probably why I had the walleye the last time. It's like, I don't believe this. So I went out on a rainy night, and I caught the walleye and got the fish tank. So that broke the glitter boulder. On the first day of winter, I found a Nautilus on the beach. So that's my friendship board done. It's getting there. Got one more to go, and that's the the bridge to the quarry. I need a crocus. Oh, and there it is. Still on the first day of winter. <laughs> There's a crocus sitting right there. I love this song. Oh, it's so pretty. It is sped up a little bit, so it sounds weird. <laughs> Sorry. So yeah, I got my crocus. And those are the only two items that I had left. The crocus and the nautilus. And... Yay! So I'm very happy about this. I got it all finished. I was... Okay, what saved me was the gypsy caravan. She had the red cabbage. A purple mushroom. Which I don't even think I needed from her. Because I was finding them. And she had one other thing that I just couldn't... Oh, and my rabbit's foot. I was stunned. My bunny gave me a rabbit's foot. And it was a silver rabbit's foot, the first one. I was surprised. And a majority of my animals are already up to the full hearts. So I'm just going to say petting them more than once a day might help. So yeah, my community center is complete. I think the balloons are pretty and that's why I showed it. <laughs> it's so cute. So I did it in the first year. And I didn't even tick off the box, finish the community center in the first year. I wonder if I messed up there. Maybe you get something extra if you check the box off and then do it. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, if somebody knows, you can let me know in the comments below, but I don't know if I want to check online. Well, maybe I could. Well, you guys let me know if it makes a difference to select that box. I know it's a new feature, but I don't know if there's anything added to it. So yeah, here we go with the fight with Morris. I, I am very sad that Jojo Mart is gone because no more Jojo Cola and no more discounted props. So Pierre here, the Democrat, a left-wing liberal, he's going to say, oh, come on, let's rally together. Let's, let's do this. Let's come together as a community. And then he's just going to rip everybody off. He's going to raise his prices. He's going to tell everybody lies. But oh well. The first time I did this, I chose to duke it out. <laughs> I thought that was the funniest scene I ever saw. Everybody was freaking out and getting me. <laughs> Apparently that was the wrong choice. And then I found out about Stardew Wiki and I read it and it's like, oh my goodness, there are consequences for these choices. I did not know that. So I try to remember, is this the good one or the bad one? Good one? Bad one? I don't... Mm -hmm. Do I even care? Do I want to be friends with Pierre? I don't know. I guess you need to because my goal for this whole series is to get four candles lit on Grandpa's shrine. 
My first snow. Yeah, so I'm up to Thursday here. So pretty. Although I have to tell you, when I'm moving in these types of scenes, it hurts my eyes. It really hurts my eyes, but luckily I have a pair of sunglasses that have little magnifiers at the bottom, like old lady things. And those save me, let me tell you. Oh, and then this finally occurred. I've done this once before, but as I mentioned, I believe, I went to the island, I kind of browsed around, picked up a few things. Aside from the parrots, I would love to have a parrot. I've wanted a parrot ever since Emily's cutscene. If you can get a parrot on your farm, that would be awesome. If you can't, there's no reason for me to be going over there. Doing all of those impossible chi quests and ugh. Yeah, I need iridium. Right now, I only have four iridium ores. <laughs> so I'm going to be spending a majority of the winter trying to build that up. I have a lot of geodes, though. Different kinds. The red magma one and the ice one. Because I made it all the way down to the bottom of the mine. I have not been to the cave one yet in the desert. So here's my quarry. That cave over there. I never knew that you could go in there. I never knew that until recently. And it's kind of fun. It's not easy. And I can't remember what you get at the end of it. But it's, it's a fun quest that's not too easy to do. And I think the reward is pretty good. And it looks like I have two... Are those prismatics or are those... What are, I, I just said the word. Iridium. The ones with the swirlies on them. I only have two. But in looking through here, it's not too bad. Oh, did you notice I have a horsey? I forgot to mention that. <laughs> that was the first thing I bought when I went over 100. I got a horse and I upgraded my house. So I have my cellar now. I don't think I show you this. Uh, this scene is cute as well. But you get to go fishing now here for the weirder fish. Although I think I already caught a weird one in the lava lake in the mine. The one thing I can never catch is an ice pip. But I'm going to keep trying. So now I have to help the wizard here. He's afraid of his wife. I don't know how I feel about this. You have an affair with someone and then you don't expect her to react? I don't understand that. Thank you so much for being with me to the end and supporting my channel. Subscribe if you're interested. Like the video if you did. Take good care of yourselves and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.